every measurable physical quantity is represented by a self-adjoint operator, right? In stand-up quantum mechanics, these operators are part of the axioms, but I don't see them appear in Bohmian mechanics. So how can we describe then measurements within the framework of Bohmian mechanics? The correspondence of measurable physical quantities to self-adjoint operators does not have to be postulated as an axiom, but can be deduced from the Born rule in quantum theory. This can also be achieved in standard quantum mechanics and was elaborated by Günther Ludwig, even though in standard quantum mechanics the analysis involves a von Neumann measurement. That means the superposition of different pointer positions together with the axiom that the system plus apparatus wave function collapses onto a definite state with a definite outcome. Therefore, the derivation of operators is much more clear in Bohmian mechanics, since there we understand very naturally how a definite outcome emerges given an initial wave function and superposition without any additional axioms. The mentioned analysis also, also sheds light on the status of observable operators. Given an experimental procedure such that um, we can conclude from the measurement outcome that the wave function of the system is in a subspace of Hilbert space, there's a self-adjoint operator on that Hilbert space. And that operator enables us to compute the statistics of measurement outcomes for many repeated measurements. Now, to call the operator an observable is more than misleading. The operator is not a fundamental object. It's, it's just a statistical bookkeeper of the associated experiment. So summing up, it is important to note that the measurable physical quantities give us the self-adjoint operators, but not the other way around. <laughs>